Hey everybody, Dave Kincaid here, and I have a very special guest today. Deborah Cox is the President and Managing Director at Micro Business Training Center, which is a government-funded self-employment program, which I am a graduate of, and I think it is my favorite program in the entire province. So Deb, thanks for coming. Hey, great to be here. Thanks for having me, Dave. Um, just a quick aside, um, Alberta Business Grants just turned six. I didn't tell you that. Turned six. November. On yeah, November 1st, and Deb was uh, instrumental in getting this business off the ground. So six years, and it's been just an amazing journey, and it wouldn't have been possible without you, Deb. So thank you so much for that. Oh, well, you give me too much credit. I, I, I'm going to redirect that compliment to you because, um, Dave, you just do amazing work. Well, we'll see. So many people. Well, let's talk about getting other people into this program because it's so sure. awesome, and you've got a deadline coming up. So. I'm going to, why don't you tell us about the program? I'm going to share the screen and so people okay. can see it. So happy to do that. Yeah. Um, well, Dave, as you know, we are uh, currently recruiting for the next self-employment training class intake, and that's going to start on January 18th, 2021. And um, the self-employment training program has been around for probably 20 plus years. And it's often people don't even realize that this resource is out there. It's a government funded training program that actually is uh, supported by the province of Alberta, specifically the Department of Labor, as well as Service Canada, which funds EI. So for anyone that might be on an active EI claim or maybe had EI in the past five years, you could potentially be eligible. We look for Albertans who are in a position whereby they're looking to reinvent themselves. And quite frankly, with the amount of unemployment that we're not just seeing in the country, but of course in Alberta specifically, there is really no better time to start a small business. It's about taking your skills, your education, your knowledge, and for that matter, even your passion. Maybe you've had a hobby that you've been active in for many years, and now you're looking at, does it have the potential to be a small business. So Deb, let's let's back up a little bit because um, yes. I think that is so true. And a lot of people, they won't know what this program is because I didn't know when I called either. So I'm out there, um, I, I qualify for the program. You're saying, so let's talk about who's eligible for the program first. It's you bet. It, who is eligible? Well, as I mentioned, Dave, if you currently are on an active EI claim or you've had EI in the past five years, you could be potentially eligible. There's other eligibility criteria, which of course, um, you know, we're not gonna go into the semantics of yeah. that right now. And I would just suggest that if you wanna see more about those specific criteria, please visit our website, microbusiness.ca. But the, the beauty of this program is, especially if you've been on CERB and now you've come off of CERB as of October the 2nd, and maybe you might even be potentially collecting the CRB benefit. Um, there's really a lot of very good criteria that makes you eligible, but primarily it's through Service Canada and EI. So how does the program work? We have three phases of training. So in essence, if we were to do it all over again, Dave, you make a commitment for nine months. That means you get nine months of support, coaching and mentorship, that it starts with phase one, which is a classroom training environment. And as we are currently still very much in a um, you know, pandemic situation, we have converted all of our in-person training to virtual training. So we have a class that is streamed live every single day for eight weeks. And during that time, you're learning business skills, you're writing your business plan, and you're also making new friends. Even though they're virtual, you're bonding and making new friends because every single person in that room is starting a small business. And they, in the deliverable, that is a business plan at the end of the eight, eight, eight weeks? Eight weeks, correct. Yeah. And once you complete phase one or the eight weeks of classroom training, you immediately segue into phase two, which is called the implementation phase or the launch phase of your business. So in other words, everything that you learned about and that you researched while you were developing your business plan, you're now launching it and implementing all of those strategies because the reality is you have to start earning self-employment income. That's the whole premise around why you're getting the training free. Now, the government, it, 
wants to see you become successful and start to generate a living wage as a result of your small business. And do they still have that um, clause where if they start to earn income on self-employment, their EI doesn't get cut back? Does that still exist? Yes, yes. And that's probably one of the, the best things about this entire program. No kidding. There have been times when we've had um, participants in active training, meaning during the classroom portion, where if you can imagine they're in their training during the day, and then as soon as class is done, they're racing off to you know go and do some work mm -hmm. in their business. So if, for instance, you were successful in, um, uh, say you were a, a journeyman plumber, and you had a client that you could do some help for or some work for potentially after class or on evenings and weekends, whatever monies you would have generated as a result of those services through your small business, you get to keep in addition to all of your EI benefits. Nothing is clawed away while you're in this program. Yeah, I just wanna say, you know, to anyone watching this video, I took this program, it's amazing. So like you're building your business plan, you're, you're implementing live, like um, unfortunately the program was cut by the government when I did it, but anyway, you can, but it's amazing because you're getting coaching, you're testing, then you're implementing and then you're revising and you're getting that support, which when you're starting a business is so important. So let's talk a bit about, um, how many students you take and like who, do you have an ideal, is, is there someone out there that's an ideal candidate that you're looking for? Um, you know, Dave, we work with so many different types of businesses. Um, the eligibility criteria is for the most part, that's, that's really what determines whether or not we can help you get approved to come into training. Mm -hmm. And as I mentioned, it has everything to do with, you know, what your current status is, as to whether you're on an active EI claim or you've had EI in the past five years. Um, but the best thing to do is to register for an information session. We host them every Wednesday virtually at 2 p.m. All you need to do is contact our office. You can call us, you can email us. Uh, there's a bit of paperwork involved to get you registered because of course it is a government program. Mm -hmm. But um, an information session really takes about 45 to 50 minutes. And it really gives you all of the basics and all of the details around what you can expect if you want to pursue this training program. Um, and uh, where is the best place? Just go to the website at microbusiness.ca. Is that the best place to reach out? Absolutely. Or, you know, like all of our contact information is there. Um, look in particular at our website for self-employment training. And if anyone's interested, they can even take this phone number down, 780 Four eight two four four six two. Uh, there's somebody here. Uh, we're actually an extension of the government, so we are in our office, albeit in a very uh, small bubble. <laughs> yeah. So Deb, let's end on that because it's interesting. You know, I've seen the program evolve over the years, and now we're in the middle of a pandemic. Yeah. And you used to be in person, and now you told me that it's online. So what? Tell me, just just share us a bit about how COVID has impacted your organization. Well, to be I think to be truthful, Dave, um, COVID has impacted everyone. I, I don't think there's any one person or any one business that can say, oh, you know what, we're, we're, we're not feeling any impact as a result of this. Um, I, I think what it has really reinforced with respect to becoming an entrepreneur, and this is something that we talk about a lot with our clients that have maybe finished their classroom training, but now they're in that intensive coaching and mentorship phase is we keep trying to give them inspiration and positive motivation because you know the reality is this is what we're dealing with so there's no point in um you know dwelling on the negative this is about how do we get better together how do we help you move forward um you know in so many ways what it's taught us is the value of being able to pivot and to be able to adapt swiftly to the marketplace. And any person in business who's ever uh, been, you know, working at their business as an entrepreneur for any length of time, you absolutely know the value of being able to shift gears quickly when something changes, either in the market or in this case, when we're faced with a global pandemic. Yeah, and I just, I just wanna say, you know, to the people watching this, um, you know, starting a business, having done this, you know, I spent, it's very difficult at times, especially emotionally. 
And, you know, I was so lucky to work with Deb. I think I was in Deb's office every Friday for like two years when I was starting this thing. And um, you, 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 I don't know, most people, I think the majority of people watching this and most majority of people in general really need that support. It's such a change if you've never been self-employed to go from job based to, oh, I'm starting a business. Um, there's so many things you need to know and mentally it can be just a, such a journey. So I strongly, strongly can't recommend this program enough. It's amazing. It's been amazing for me and the living testament of it today. Um, our website has over 6,000 visitors a day. I mean, it's, it's, it's really incredible. And it's all started here with this program and they're accepting applications in January. You said January 18th, right, Deb? Yes. Um, we're actively recruiting for strong participants for that class. So as I said before, my recommendation is if this is at all piquing your interest and maybe you're really trying to determine what is the way forward, you're not going to lose anything by joining us on any information session. All you have to do is give us a call or, you know, register online and uh, we'll, we'll get you the information. That's great. Deb, anything else you want to add? Uh, just thanks for having me. And um, I, I really hope that people have a sense of, there's a light at the end of the tunnel and there's yeah. no better time to reinvent yourself than to start a small business right now. Absolutely. Take the leap. Give her a call. Thanks so much, Deb. We'll talk to you later. Thanks, Dave. Appreciate it.